Today we're having a look at the Flipsky Mini FS ESC 4.20 and this is a motor controller originally designed for skateboards but I think this one's being used in an electric scooter. Now it turns out that early versions of this particular board had some incorrect resistors fitted so instead of being 47 ohm they were 4.7 ohm and that interferes with the amount of power that this thing can actually put out. Let's take a closer look at that. Now my boss has already removed the resistors and they came from there, 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 there and there. And what we're going to do is put on uh, some replacement ones, the correct values. These are 0603 resistors so they're pretty darn small but I'm going to hand solder them. I was thinking of using hot air but I've decided against it. I'm going to manually solder them. Uh, using my JBC solding station. We're not using the JAB today. So without further ado, let's get these resistors replaced. I think we'll go for this one here first. So we're going to put a little blob of solder just on that pad. Like so. And we're going to put just a little bit of um, flux on there, which is always a good thing to do when you're soldering very small things like this. It's very easy to lose these actually, they're absolutely tiny. That's what we're replacing it with. Certainly reasonably fiddly. Let's do the other end of that. It looks like it's soldered, but it's not really. What's that one done? Move on to the next one. And same thing with that. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, a flux on there. I had somebody comment after one of my videos once and they were really surprised that these components could be hand soldered. But as long as you've got a steady hand, it should be pretty fine to do this sort of thing. Another one done. Let's move on to the next one. We've already put a little bit of um, flux on there. We don't need an awful lot of it because it's quite a small target area. Sometimes they don't want to let go. Right, I might turn this one around a different way and do it like that. Sometimes you can just touch them and the surface tension will just pull apart into place. Not in this case, obviously. Let's 
going to touch the end of that with the iron. And on it goes. Doing stuff under a microscope can be a bit of a pain because you don't get a good, very good sort of overview of the board under a microscope because you're so zoomed in and the camera is even worse because that's even more zoomed in. One of the reasons I'm not using hot air is because uh, of these plastic connectors and also I just think it'll be easier to do them manually. These things are unbelievably small. Done. Two more to do. That one there. I'm going to flux up the other one as well, just to get that ready. I'm going to do the other one while I'm on here. To decide how I'm going to do this one as well. Again, near a plastic connector. I think if you had very good eyesight, you might be able to do this without a microscope, but my eyesight's knackered. That was quite tricky. Let's do the other side of it now. This will be a lot easier, this bit. Just have to make sure you heat it up. I said, you know, the solder's gone underneath it, but that looks pretty good to me. I think my soldering is better than some of the other soldering on here, actually. And that's this one down here. This would be a piece of what's it compared to that last one. I really like surface mount stuff. Much prefer it to through hole. Okay, that looks all right. Let's do the other end. Then it's done. Sorry, I soldered that one out of shot. I'm still not used to uh, recording the microscope yet, I don't think. I'm just going to check each of these and just make sure they're all okay. That one looks good. That one looks good. We move over to here. That one there. That looks good. That one too. That one. And that one. And that one. That's it. They're all done. Now to give it back to the boss and see if it works. <laughs> 